Hello and welcome to the third Python tutorial by the binaries. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you some basic math. So all I have done right now is I just started up the Python editor. Now in this tutorial, we'll be using the interactive part of Python, so we can so I can show you how math works and what you can do with uh, and how you do math with Python. So first thing I will show you is addition. Okay, now wait, before we st actually start typing some stuff, well, we're going to use the, well, when we print stuff out, we're going to use the print function, like I showed you in the last tutorial, the hello world. Oops, we, it, okay, this is, this is an accident, it's not supposed to be a string, because a number is not a string, it is a number. String is a series of characters like letters, you know, okay, so print which will print out text <clears throat> print out text uh, onto a screen so we're gonna say print 5 plus 3 that gives us 8 now I might be wondering what if we do not put the print well let's go ahead and do that and see 5 plus 3 well it's still gonna return it but let me tell you something if we're gonna go into the new window over here, which is where we will write our code in future tutorials, and we go five plus three. Well, when we save it and run it, let's go ahead and call this test.py, I guess. That and we run this. It's not gonna show anything on the screen right here. So it's good to just get in the habit of writing print so basically addition is just as you do it normally now we're gonna I'm gonna show you subtraction same thing let's go ahead and write print and let's just say 5 minus 3 5 minus 3 is 2 well, that's subtraction is pretty straightforward same way now multiplication um, Let's go ahead and do 6, or wait, print, that's right, 6, and the multiplication sign would be the asterisk, which is the little symbol above the 8 on your keyboard. So press shift and 8, and, th and that is the multiplication sign. So 6 times um, 2, that will give us 12. Well, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> well, um next thing we want to do um, is division. Division would be represented by um, well it's the number six and then it will be the forward slash which is the one under the question mark next to your shift button. So division sign which is the forward slash and the number we want to divide by. Let's go with three. Two. That's correct. So Wait, what if we want to divide um, 5 divided by 4? Whoa, it's not supposed to be 1, is it? No. Well, it's because the division this is doing it by is integer division. Well, integers are just basically whole numbers. They're not decimals. They're nothing decimals. So, what this is doing is just dividing it and not returning the point whatever or not returning the remainder. Well, if we want to do that, then one of these numbers up here must be a float or a number with a decimal. So let's go ahead and try that. Print 5.0 divided by 4. Now it gives us a pretty good answer. 1.25 instead of just 1. Well, that will lead us to another thing. What if we want to find the remainder of something? Well, that is another sign. Let's say I want to find the remainder of 5 divided by 4. The sign for this is the percent sign, or it's called the modulus. The percent sign is right above the 5, where, and then just press Shift 5, and that'll give you your answer. So it's right, print 5 percent sign, or modulus, divided by 4. I mean, not divided by, sorry, modulus 4. Enter. The remainder is going to be 1. Now, one more thing I want to go over before 
uh, I finished this tutorial is exponents. Exponents are represented by two multiplication signs. Mu two multiplication signs, yeah. So let's go ahead and write print. And then let's say I want 5 to the power of 2. So let's write 5 and then asterisk, which is the star again above the 8, and then 2. 25. 5 times 5 is 25, right? Well, how about 5 to the power of 3? Oops. Five, 125. That's pretty good. Now, um, you saw how I did that little space thing. It doesn't really matter. Space, it, will always, it should always give you the same answer. Yep. Well, that's it for this tutorial, and I'll see you next tutorial.